Hi, I'm Morgan Wyrick, and you're watching Maximo TV, and we're here at Not Scary Farm for the movie premiere of Quarantine. <laughs> Apartment's about to begin the rescue process. Police say that she lives alone. She's not very social. We don't... We're here to help you. Now. Yeah. Oh, God! Oh, my God! I play Fletcher, the fireman, and one of the guys gets trapped inside the building. I didn't get hurt during the making of this film, nor did my dog. What scares you the most? I always had a fear of sharks. Yeah, because I was a young boy, I was on a raft and a shark came really close to my raft. And they cleared the beaches and I couldn't get off in time. Just remember the panic on my father's face on the shoreline. So what are you dressing up as for Halloween this year? I'm going to dress up as Fletcher the Fireman. I play Danny Walensky. Yes, black man, last name Walensky. Came via Poland, you know, long story. Um, yeah, uh, <laughs> but I'm, I'm the first cop on the scene and, you know, my partner goes down early and it's kind of like up to me to control this situation within within the apartment building and I'm, you know, I'm a young cop and I'm high, high strung and it leaves for some humor, but yeah, that's my role. I have a movie with Jeffrey Wright, Adrian Brody, Beyonce, most Deaf coming out on December 5th. Uh, it's called Calyrac Records. A movie with Kate Beckinsale coming out April something uh, called White Out. And in September, um, a movie with Jean Reno, Matt Dillon, Lawrence Fishburne called Armor. So what are you dressing up for Halloween this year? I'm going to be John McCain. I play Sadie. I'm basically one of the tenants that gets quarantined in the building. Um, where the source of this infection is, 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 coming, is coming from. So it's... Uh, I, I don't want to give anything away, but I definitely have one of the most intense attack scenes in the film. What's the biggest difference between like filming a TV show as opposed to a movie? It's the commitment part of it. You know, it's I think um, when you do a film, you're committed to this role and you're committed to this person for maybe you know two, three months, sometimes six months, depending on how how big the movie is. And when you're doing a TV show. Um, you're able to kind of explore the character a little bit more and give, in, give them a different kind of layer because you have longevity with the character. As I think when you, when you do film, you, you definitely get to hit all, all of their arcs a lot sooner. What are you going to be for Halloween? I <laughs> that was not cute. That was not cute. Um, <laughs> I am... Um, I was thinking of doing a little Wonder Woman situation. Um, the only thing is that I might kind of like give it a twist. I, I won't tell you. I won't tell you what, because maybe I'll see you around when I'm all dressed up, and you'll see what I'm talking about. <laughs> My role in this movie is insane. I'm kind. Of, I am insane. I'm an insane, crazy man. Um, I'm pretty much. I'm the cause for the whole problem of the film. So whatever's going on in this apartment building, I know. I know, right? You should be scared of me. Yeah. Whatever's going on in the in the in the building, wh why the building has been quarantined, it's kind of my fault. I started the whole mess, and and, uh, and so I'm uh, so when you meet me, I'm just like, well, the credits call me thin infected man. <laughs> so the thin I had going on, but the infected part required head to toe makeup, uh, seven hours of makeup, that create uh, old age and made me sort of like I had some kind of a disease. Yeah, and it's a disease I gave myself so that I could spread it throughout the building and hopefully throughout the world. I think, I, think, I think that's what we're after, yeah. Can you tell me what the disease is called or do I have to be surprised? You probably might, I, I, I'm not sure, I wasn't briefed on how much I can say, so I, <laughs> I think, trust, trust me, it's contagious. It's highly, and it's something I, 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 I uh, experimented with myself and I, I uh, so I made it as contagious as possible. So I found a strain of the virus that's like really, it, it, it acts fast, right, you know what I'm saying? What's your favorite horror movie? Ooh, ooh, that I've seen. Oh, I, I like the ones. I like the ones that, that deal with your mind more, more than my, the surprise, scary movies. Are, yeah, 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 I like the ones like like The Exorcist. You know what I'm saying? Where yes, there were some gory moments, but it was mostly about the, the weird like. It's the one. It's, it's the ones where you could actually fathom this happening. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the ones that scare me the most. I think quarantine is going to be among that because there's no supernatural here. It's just, it's all like for real, like this crazy guy who's using a virus and. 
it, this could happen. You know, I think that's what makes scary really happen for me. I play Angela Vidal. She's a news reporter like you. And she's doing a, a piece about the Los Angeles Fire Department, our local heroes. We get a call, finally, a 911 call about this elderly woman who's sick in an apartment building. She bites a cop who's already there. So we're trying to save the cop, and we're locked in this building. So as we're trying to put the puzzle together about why we're being locked in, we're also trying to save our own lives. Oh, my God, it's intense. <laughs> Did it take you a while to get your character out, or was it pretty natural for you? Well, I think it was really important to figure out who Angela was, like make up some fake background for her. So I knew who she was when, she, when, when tables turned and the stress sort of ensued, and she could figure out, like, how hard she'd fight for her life and what that would look like so I could really concentrate on doing the simple things like hitting my mark and getting my lines right because they're six minute shots so it was that's what makes the movie so unique it's like I've never seen a movie shot like this not Cloverfield not Blair Witch it's unique in its own entity yeah is it gonna make me dizzy like the Blair Witch no. we had a camera that was not meant to be handheld it's 80 pounds and it sat on this guy Joe who stands about here next to me and he walks like this now so that you wouldn't get sick in the movies <laughs> so excited for Halloween what are you gonna do what am I, I'm gonna what am I gonna do I'm gonna dress up as the wolf that Sarah Palin shot from the helicopter that's what I'm gonna do I play a firefighter who goes in to save the world. That's it. Did you uh, want to be a firefighter when you were younger? No, I never did. Uh, I never did, but I did some training. It's funny, I did a film called Ladder 49 many years ago and trained in Baltimore City uh, with the fire department at the fire academy and uh, stayed overnight at a firehouse. So I had like all the experience necessary to do this without doing any training. What scared you as a kid? My dark visions and the people that would talk to me when, no, I'm just kidding, when I didn't take my meds, no. Um, what scared me as a kid? I, I remember waking up sometimes and having dreams, or I think they were dreams or maybe hallucinations, that dogs were in my home. Hallway. And, and my parents were in the room all the way down the hallway and I wanted to go to them because I was freaked out but I couldn't get there because the dogs were gonna get me. <laughs> Do you have any movies coming out besides this one? Uh, yes, it's uh, I got a, one that's coming out it's called Nothing Like the Holidays. It's like a family holiday movie, a little bit of drama and comedy. It's about this family coming together for the holidays after many years and sort of all the uh, the dynamics of that and everything that's involved you know the relationships and yeah, all that kind of stuff. So I got that and I'm shooting right now a film called Bone Deep which is like an action film playing a detective who's trying to take down this crew of uh, bank robbers. So. I play a mom. I, uh, as far as I know I don't think there are other parents that have children on them and my daughter is going through an incredible, um, shall we say, she's got a, a fever that's not broken in a long time so my husband's gone out to get medicine and that's when the quarantine begins so I've got some child issues of potential you know death and then all of a sudden we can't get out of the house so for me that's what's going on the film itself if you want to know the bigger picture I'm sure you guys have been talking about this with lots of the other actors the film is really about a group of people who are discovering odd things happen and suddenly it looks like things are so dis despairing that this apartment building has been quarantined and then as time passes absolutely devastating things happen devastating yes Death all over the place falling bodies yeah blood gushing out my child might be biting me blood might gush out from that you know handcuffed to you know staircases um, dogs eating people in elevators that kind of thing it's very you know for the faint normal hearted yeah normal very normal so what was your biggest fear as a child you know, I had nighttime fears. I had that whole idea that, like, whenever it was dark, that, like, spooky things could come out. I used to sleep with the lights on and kind of go into my parents' room and sleep on a carpet. So that's, it's like the generalized sense that I just want to have loved ones around in case something bad happens. How long did it take you guys to film the, the whole movie? Uh, we shot it in 26 days. Um, and, you know, it's probably 10 months all in from, you know, writing the script to pre-pro to shooting it. But we shot it in 26 days. It was pretty quick. Yeah, pretty quick. We shot uh, 24 days on a stage and, 20, and two days um, uh, outside exterior in L.A. So it was almost all on stage, yeah. It's a remake of a Spanish film that was awesome. And we fought very hard to get on it because we, we thought it would make a, a wonderful remake. And... We were lucky enough to get hired, so that's why we wrote it. I play Elise. Uh, I'm an infected person who has a really grisly, can I say that? A really yep. grisly end <laughs> involving a camera. <laughs>
Thank you for watching Maximo TV. <laughs> hey, I'm Doug Jones, and you're watching Maximo TV.